Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Firstly, I want to apologise to regular subscribers because you would have seen a lot of the content of this video before. Um, sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to make a short video here because a little while ago I made a much longer video on this Quangsheng UV K58 radio. An amazing little radio, especially when you mod it, when you flash the firmware with a program called Exuma. Um, in that video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I just suggest you go back and watch the, the full review because I show you how easy it is to change the firmware, flash it with uh, Egg Zuma. But what I wanted to show you on this video is just how to use this radio as a scanner and set a scan range. Very important if you want to scan CB channels or aircraft, things like that. Um, quite easy to do. It took me a little while to um, fit, you know, work it out. And then once you've set a scan range, I also wanted to show you how you switch on the spectrum scope and then you can adjust the spectrum scope with the uh, squelch line, things like that, so you can use the spectrum scope while you scan. So just a quick video, just to help you out if you've got this radio and you're not quite sure how to go about scanning with this uh, radio. So the first thing you need to do to set a scan range is to make sure that your upper and lower frequencies are both set on frequency mode. So again, a short press on button three sets that into frequency mode. So at the moment you can see that we're on 115 megahertz, we're on AM, and our lower frequency is 118 megahertz, also on AM. To switch between the two, we simply do a slightly long press on button two. There we go, that takes us down. So let's say, for example, we wanted to scan, say, 119 megahertz. So now we're in frequency mode, we can now type in 119 zero, zero, zero. So we've now got 115 and 119, both channels there are in frequency mode. To set this scan range, what we do then is we hold down button five, okay? And then hopefully at the top of the screen there you can see scan range 115 to 119, that is now set. To start the scan, we then hold down the star key scan, and now you'll see it is now scanning. Now hopefully, <laughs> when that reaches um, to 119 megahertz, that will loop back around again and it will start again at 115. And that's really, really useful um, for certainly things like aircraft. There you go, we're back at now 115. So that setting those ranges is really useful uh, for PMR or aircraft or any of the handbands if you just want this in the background scanning to um, basically find out if anything's about. To stop that, just um, hold down the five key there Oh, actually, no. Just briefly press the PTT. It, it won't transmit, and then hold down the five key, and then you're back to the frequency mode. So I've now connected an antenna, <laughs> so we can actually receive something. So now we've learned how to set the scan rate just for a normal scan. If you want to visualise that, we can use the spectrum display. This is where things get a lot more interesting. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to set the um, the scan rate again. So the long press on the number two key there to go down to the bottom level. And we're going to open it up a little bit. So we're going to go to 27,500. So 0, 27,500. So we're now going to scan from 27 megs to 27,500 on AM. Um, and we've set to a 5 kilohertz step rate. So just to, just to check that, we're going to hold down the uh, F key there, the 5 key, sorry. There we go. And that's now our scan range. So what we want to do now is we want to switch on the spectrum scope. So we press the F key and the number 5. And now that's switched on the on the uh, spectrum scope and that's scanning in. Now when you're in this um, in this mode, first thing you need to think about is this line here that is the squelch line so at the moment anything below that squelch line we won't be able to hear through the radio speaker to set that you use the F key 
and the scan key. So if I bring that down, you'll see these little peaks coming in. If I bring that down, they will start to be received. There we go, I'll set that a little bit higher. Now what I've noticed on this, and I've just been playing around with it myself, is at the moment the, um, the, the spectrum display isn't going right across the screen. And you, if you look up here, I don't know, hopefully it's come out on camera, it's a little bit, um, little bit small, but it says at 105k. So the 5k is the 5k we set for the uh, step rate, and 100 is the 100 times, so it's scanning across this at 100 times. Now what we can do, by using the 1 and the 7 key is we can manually change the step rate and what I found if I, if I change that down a little bit to 2.5 it should just fill in that little bit on the uh, screen there but it will it will then affect the scan rate which seems to be automatic I, I think you used to be able to set it but I think it's automatic <coughs> excuse me so let me just um, take that down to 2.5 and there you go so now it's at 2.5 and that's filled the complete uh, screen if I press the 4 key yeah nothing I can't see anything happening I believe in the old version you could set the speed rate but that is now scan that is now scanning at uh, I believe that says 200 times yep 200 times right across the uh, spectrum display and any one of those peaks now that break that line will break the squelch and as you can see there's quite a bit of activity going on on the AM side this is the American side so I'm just going to bring that squelch line down a little bit and it's quite a useful little tool so here we can see all of the channels and at a glance we can see what's active and what's not active radio propagation so that's, all, so that's all the American CB and we can see straight away what's active and what's not active if for, if for example we pick up a signal and it's out of phase we can't hear what it's saying it's in the wrong mode if we press the uh, zero key the FM key if you look up there I know it's small but that says um, AM. I'll zoom in in a minute. I'll show you all this in, in detail. But if we press the uh, zero key there, that then changes it to upper sideband and FM. And there you go. It's as easy as that. Well, I, I do hope this video is going to help some of you uh, Some of you out. It took me a little while to work it out myself. There's the thumbs up from Fred in the Shed. If it has been useful to you, just hit me a thumbs up before you go. I would appreciate that and as I say if you're a little bit confused about the whole thing just check out the full length review video I'll leave a link at, in the description and it'll pop up at the end but that will explain everything in more detail if, if you're struggling but as for now as always cheers thanks for your view time please 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 look after each other stay safe catch you on the next one cheers guys oh,